this. So um, I'm going to read it again. It says, Mr. Sadler stands on top of Xavier Castle. How would I draw that? In that one part. Line. Just a line straight up. There's my castle in the middle, okay? You can draw a castle if you want to. Please don't. There was a student and there's Sadler up on the top there. Like that. There were people in my applied class who have a question like this. And they'll spend like 20 minutes drawing a beautiful, magnificent castle with like horses and, you know, and all this. And, you know, and, you know, a crown on my head and all this stuff, okay? Um, but they don't do the question, they flunk the test again because they spend so much on that. You get so fast? No. Okay, then it says, to his left, and we're going to assume it's to the left of the page here, he looks at an angle of depression of 30 degrees and sees Molly. What is an angle of depression again? Down. 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 Okay, now, hold on a sec. So I'm going to go down over this way to the left. And <coughs> there's a right angle triangle, and there's going to be Molly over there, okay? Where is the 30 degrees? Where? Right. Right here, right? Oh. No, it's not there. Stop. It's not there. Sweet. Remember we said an angle of depression? It looks like that. Okay, so if you remember an angle of depression, we said starts looking. Well, that's what makes this question a little bit cooler because it's outside of the triangle. Okay, now we'll deal with what the angles are inside the triangle in a sec. Are we okay on the logic of that? So an angle of depression? Yeah, yes. What happens if there was like a line? Angle elevation, the same thing. So I'd be looking straight across. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep going here. Then it says to his right, he looks at an angle of depression of 70 degrees and sees Nick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw Nick over here, and I'm do the same thing, dotted line, and do 70. Now, here's the problem with this question. I have nothing inside my triangle. Can someone give me a suggestion here, Noah, of what to do? Good. So this right here, and we'll talk about this a little later on in the next unit. It's all, north, south, east, west, it's going to be 90 degrees always, right? So what that can tell me is this is going to be 60, and that's going to be 20. Now, if you don't like that, is there any other way I could get an interior angle if you don't like that? Can I call it? This is a pattern you could use too if you want to, okay? You can use and say that's 30. You can and say that's 70. Right? You can do that too. So if, that, if you like that better than the adding to 90, that works out. Yes. I don't get how you got those 60. Okay, so what we just said was, and what Noah said was, because the horizon goes straight across this way, and the castle straight up and down, that's going to be a 90 degree angle there. Okay? So that's where, like, that's what that oh, would be. Yeah. So 30 at the top and 60 at the bottom, so we're going to 90 all together. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Now, what are we actually looking for in this case? What are we looking for? The distance, the distance between them. So I cannot do it directly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call this x, and I call that y. Okay? So I'm going to say let x equals the distance uh, from the castle. No. No, it doesn't necessarily have to be half, though, okay? In fact, it's not going to be. Because um, because the angles are different. So x is going to be the distance from the castle to Molly. Y is going to be the distance from the castle to Nick. What's going to be the cast distance from Molly to Nick? It's going to be what? Good. So x plus y, then, is going to be the distance... You know, here's some time to ask questions if you need to. Okay, right? This is just a double triangle problem. That's what this is going to be here. Okay? Well, I think you can just get inside the diagram. Yeah. And then we can do that. I can't. I'll cost you three marks of six. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw them separately. I'm going to redraw these triangles. You don't have to, but for me, it's easier to do that. So I'm going to do the first left one green. So there is, uh, sad, there's an eight. There's a that, there's a 60, and there's an X, and there's an M, and there's an S. On the right hand side in blue will be Nick, so we're going to have a 20, a right, a Y, an 8, an S, and an M. So I'm going to pause in the video. I want you guys to solve for X, and I want you to solve for Y, and I want you to solve for them together. Okay?
Yes. Okay, I'm going to pause in the video, and then I want you guys to try this out. Okay, you can do this. Here before we go. Okay, so let's do the right hand, left hand side, quick down and say, uh, 10 of 60. Ten of sixty is x over eight. Uh, if you need the diagram labeled, which you probably do, there's your opposite, there's your adjacent, there's your hypotenuse. Um, okay, so we're going to say eight times ten sixty is equal to x. Then I'm going to ask for x, please. Yes. Go ahead. 13.86. Okay, so as far as the y goes, you do the same thing. Uh, opposite adjacent hypotenuse. There's your opposite. There's your adjacent. There's your hypotenuse. So we're going to say 10 and 20 is y over 8. y equals 8 times 10 and 20. So that's what you have for that one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Now, are we okay on the logic of what happened here? Yes. Right? Okay. You're always trying to, in these cases, break it down to a single triangle, right? And this is just like our warm today, right? Same thing when there's two triangles. You want to use each triangle separately. All right, I'm going to write your homework on the board. I'm going to do one last example, and then we're going to call it a day. Wait, how do we test it? Sorry? Why is x distance from x? Because what is that not here? Like, how is x? So what, okay, what I'm just doing is I'm just saying, okay, so the problem is I want to find this entire distance, right? Yeah. But I can't do that directly. Yeah, okay. I So what I'm doing is I'm just, no, I'm just doing this. So it's the distance from the bottom of the top oh, of the I model. Like at the bottom of the top of the model. Can I go Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, example three. We'll tell you three. I see the homework on the board first and I'll do example three. Hey. That's Example three, we're going to say, uh, who likes kites in the class? Or who kind of like kites? Great, Natalie. Okay, Natalie. That's the worst. Has, let's say, 38 meters. I'm so excited for my birthday. That's a kind of If the string is at an angle of elevation of 27 degrees, uh, how high is the height? Maybe I'll change some of those. I feel bad about it. You can rub off one too. I need to stretch brain. So here we go. Natalie has 38 meters of rope for her kite. It's probably string, not rope. Right? Nobody uses like a big heavy chain like to apply a kite with a chain. Okay. Uh, if the string is at an angle of elevation of 27 degrees, how high is the kite? So your job right now is to take the next 30 seconds of your life. Next stand is in zone, please. 
okay, and dry, draw a diagram for this and get the triangle drawn. Okay, we'll deal with solving it in a sec. Okay, so like everyone in the next minute to get a diagram solved when you think you have it, raise your hand. Okay, because this is the tricky part for these questions after that is to solve it. Can you look at mine? Yeah. 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 Okay, what's the first step? Let's say you're flying a kite. You're flying a kite. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Let's fly a kite. Okay. Where's the kite going from here? Straight up. Okay, so the angle of elevation here is from you, 25 degrees from you. That's why I say, does this make sense for the actual question? So, so here's you flying a kite. Okay, so you're looking across, you're looking up 25 degrees, and that's your kite. Wait, so is Okay, I'm going to ask two or three more people that I'm going to take this out. That's one off, that's one off. Natalie, you should be on the ground. That's one off, that's one off. That's one off, that's one off. That's one off, that's one off. Okay, the only thing I'm going to add in on some people's things here. So people drew this picture, and a lot of them are doing a good job on this, okay? What you should make sure that you do when you do this, okay, because we're going to get to more complicated stuff in this course continues. Label each corner. Who's then going to be? Well, that's Natalie, okay? So make sure you draw where Natalie is. Then what's going to happen is her kite will be up here. Okay, if you want to draw a kite, go ahead. There's the kite. Look at the lovely kite picture, okay? There it is. Then we're going to go straight down to the ground. Okay. What else do we know about this picture? The angle. Angle of elevation. Okay, so this is going to be 27. The rope for the string is 38 meters. A lot of you left with that. What am I actually solving for then? Right next? The height. So I'm going to call X. I'm going to say let X equals the height. Yeah? Yeah, this is one of the ways to do it for sure, right? The height of the um, height. Because something like, like, Nowadays, you can use like digital technology, but before that's exactly what you would do, right? You'd look up, you'd say the angle is 4.6 degrees. You can estimate how far away you are, right? And that's what they measure things out for sure. Yeah. Why is it, why is it 27 on the angle this Think of what angle elevation means, okay, right? Angle elevation means you're looking straight across and going up. Okay, so for this one here is, now that looking straight across, she's looking upwards. Yeah. Probably. Let's work this one out. Then we'll put this will be it for the day here then. So we'll let you use in sine or cosine for this question. No, but I haven't picked one new today. Sine or cosine. Sine. Careful, there you go. So there's a pause there. Right? Because it's opposite my positive, this one's going to be sine. So I'm going to say sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, uh, who's an octopus? Can I say Bailey? Can you slip some numbers in, please? I'm sorry that I kept you awake uh, during the class there, right? Okay. Uh, all right, Lexi, if I want to get x by itself, how do I do that? Um, if I want to get x by itself, how do I do that? Multiply 38, because that's x divided by 38, right? I'm going to say 38 times sine 27. And Alyssa, since it's your birthday, you have the last answer of the day. What is 38 times sine 27, please? Um, 
for the paint. And here's the thing about these questions, okay? If the rope is 38 meters of the string, whatever you want to call it, the kite has got to be less high than that, right? Now, have you ever played with kites? Okay, right? You can see they go all over the place and, you know, whatever, but the maximum they could go would be, in this case, 38 meters, which is a giant kite. Okay, it's a giant kite. All right, so for tonight, please give a good attempt at that homework, okay? If you are here tomorrow, we're doing the whole day of word problems again, more fast-paced. Okay, so what I will be doing is I have about six or seven questions we're going to do. We'll work in pairs or in threes. Okay, to work on it. If you're not here tomorrow, I'll work on your choice. You can come to see me if you want to copy the question. I'll work on it as a class. Otherwise, have a good weekend. Okay.